Is this the face of a criminal? Well, this woman was arrested. Let's listen to Martin Luther King Jr. to find out about her crime. For a number of years, the Negro passengers on the city bus lines of Montgomery have been humiliated, intimidated, and faced threats on this bus line. Just the other day, uh, one of the fine citizens of our community, Mrs. Rosa Parks, was arrested because she refused to give up her seat for a white passenger. That's right, Rosa Parks' brave action that day on that bus brought her together to work with Martin Luther King Jr. That's Rosa, the fourth from the left, and Martin Luther King Jr. is the first on the left. The tall guy in back there is the folk singer Pete Seeger, who made popular his friend Woody Guthrie's song, This Land Is Your Land. What immediate uh, results do you hope to achieve? Well, we hope to achieve equal rights because any human being is there. That's what we are working for. Ninety percent at least of the regular Negro bus passengers are staying off the buses, and we plan to continue until something is done. So the buses stayed mostly empty while people walked to work putting pressure on the bus companies to change their segregationist policies. But you might be wondering, why didn't Rosa get up that day? Well, let's listen to what Rosa has to say for herself. You did not get up? No, I you didn't. You know why? Yes, because why? I didn't think I should have to get up. I had already paid my fare, and I'm sure he didn't pay any more than I did. And I didn't think that once we take a seat, even in, uh, under the segregation uh, conditions, that we should be made to stand up in, in a crowded bus. 